Hey everybody, Leah Selly here. Today I am going to show you guys my butterflies kit. It's a stencil kit that has three stencils in it. It's a bigger stencil kit like the Ultimates and the Emojis size. And um, I think it has somehow flown under the radar. And um, this is an excellent training tool. So if you struggle with your butterfly wings and uh, or you're just looking for um, more fills, then this stencil kit might be of interest to you. So um, check it out, watch me do a little demo. I'm gonna show you all the shapes on a piece of paper, and then I'm gonna um, show you how to use the stencils on the practice head, which will be more like a, a real human. These stencils have um, uh, just a little trick to getting the flow of using them, and uh, once you've got that, then they're super handy, and they can make your butterflies really fast. And um, enough talking, let's get started painting. All right, take care. Okay, so there's my practice head that I'm gonna use. But first, let's, uh, let's start out with, I'm gonna move this guy to the side. We'll do him later. Let's start out with opening up our kit and seeing what's inside. So, when you get one of these, if you order right from my website, you're going to get an extra card in yours. And it's got some extra tutorials on it, some extra step-by-steps. So when you order right from the Graffiti Eyes website, you get one of these. If you're ordering from the other stores, you get this package card. So you still get a step-by-step, -step, um, but with uh, ordering from my website, you get bonus one, plus you'll get a little bonus um, snowflake stencil. I have a few of these left, only a few left. So those are the bonuses from getting direct from me and supporting my artwork. I appreciate your love. Okay, so let's get started with, um, these come in really helpful too. You can just see how the patterns build. Okay, I'll leave that kind of in the shot so you can see the product. So these are the stencils you get. You get three different wing shapes. Ah, you get three different wing shapes here. I'm going to fit them all on my camera shot. Okay, so, and as you can see, with the wing shapes, you get fills that fit perfectly within these wing shapes. There's some bubbles, uh, cheetah stripes. This one is almost more of a um, scales. I really like that one. And um, some half tones, bigger to smaller, some stars. There's some bonus little bodies and swirls. There's always extra stars on these kits. These little bubbles are cute. So what I'll do is let me grab a piece of paper here and I'll show you how these stencils transfer. Um, I'll do all of them for you so you can see. I'm just going to use my regular face paint and regular water activated face paint. I'm just going to a little spray here with my water bottle. Grab a sponge. And we'll start with the basics. Start with some pink. All right. <laughs> so, I'll transfer the wings of these and then I'll just transfer all the different little shapes and show you how they fit into each other. These are great for doing one eyed butterflies, but you can easily flip them over and do two eyes with them. You grab a little purple, pink and purple, right? The number one butterfly. 
the number one butterfly uh, colors. So you can see this fits right perfect in there. So the other thing too is if you don't have any of the other kits, you can get one of these butterfly kits and you can get these half tones in there because this is really what people are super loving these days. You can attach this, you can use it like a butterfly body, this little swoopty swirl, or you could use it as a, a tail coming off the, the ends of the butterfly. So there's so many different ways that you can attach these. I think maybe I'll just attach it like this this time. Just so you guys can see it. These little stars on. It's cute, right? Super easy. It is super easy. Um, the other thing, too, is that uh, when you're doing this, you don't even, if you use a dark color on it for the tracing of your wing, then you don't even need to have an outline on there. So that works really, really nice. Let's do another one. I'll just stick with this pink and purple because it'll be faster for the demo. Here's another butterfly wing. The other thing you can do too is use two colors when you're putting this on. I'll show you that on my demo head. It's super easy though, because all you're gonna end up doing is taking your other side of your sponge and dragging in from the edge. All right, so you can get a double color on there. That's super pretty. Um, the other thing I like to do is whatever color I got on the outside edge, I'll take that and extend it out. These bubbles or stars. And some bubbles. These bubbles fit perfectly inside the wings too. I'll put this, this fits really nicely in there. This is the scales. Let me get a little bit darker purple. Make it a little bit more exciting. Get in there. The scales also looks really good if you're painting like a dinosaur, you know, one of those talking mouth dinosaurs. There's another little bit of scales here. This section it goes for the um the bottom wing. See those scales. Another effect. Go again. Let's keep moving. I'll keep showing you. Let's do an orange one. Do the same wing here because this is on the same card. Let's do an orange one. Orange. I might just grab some brown real quick and bring it on the edges down. That trick. It's really fast and easy if you double load your sponge because then you can get it really quickly done. You don't have to reach back and forth. This one has um, like a cat pattern. So let's fit that on and then let me grab some. More, I'm just gonna use a dark brown for this. That's nice because these fit perfectly inside the wing. And again, something like this where you got a cheetah pattern. Sometimes that's all you need to do is just lay a little cheetah pattern down on their cheeks. And uh, and then that's enough, right? It's cool. You can take the same cheetah pattern and use your orange and blow it off the edges. I kind of like doing that kind of thing. So it looks like the wing is exploding. And that really sets your butterfly apart differently from the other painters. So if you're painting in a group and you want your butterflies to kind of be a little bit more distinctive somehow, this is a really super tight, fast way of doing it. So that's this card. So we had two cards and then let's see what's on this card here. I love this wing shape with the little point. Let's get some, let's get 
some neat colors going here. Some purple maybe, hey? So when I do butterflies like this, a lot of times I'll just even just grab the stars that are right here without even moving my stencil, just on their skin, and then it looks like it's exploding off. It's really pretty. When you do two colors in like this, and you line up your half tone on here, look what look what look what you can do. Hold on a second here. Let me get my half tone lined up. Where it's blue, I'll put purple dots. And where it's purple, I'll put blue dots. If you have glitter, now's a great time to use glitter too, because it'll really help it pop. But that's a cool little trick I've figured out. Do the same thing on the bottom. Put a couple dots on there. So, there we go. And like I said, um, these half tones are really great for just doing regular graffiti eye looks too. So if a lot of people uh, write to me and they're like, "Ma, oh, I lost my my one stencil with the dots." Well, if you already have these stencils, these ones work really well too to make up for it. If you're missing one, try them out. I love putting the stars around the outside edge like this. You can put them inside too, but um. I love the way they look exploding outside. Um, it's a little body. Let me get a, maybe a little bit darker color for the body. So the body, you can just stick it on. You can stick it on along the nose, the side of the nose. You can use this stencil for antennas. If you wanted to give it a little antenna look. Sometimes I do this. Pick up a couple of little swirls, you know. Forget about this one. Um, I also like this one here. Is fun. It's just more abstract. Kind of like the abstractness of it sometimes it's more forgiving you know um same thing where's that little swirly wheel you can use these So there's all kinds of different uh, butterfly action that you can get here. Um, just these stars alone, they cover a large area. So if you were filling in crowns or backgrounds, like just putting these stars down alone, it covers a nice large area. Okay, so that's what all the patterns look like transferred. You can kind of see that these dots here are a little bit more wide and circular versus these dots here are more oval and squished. So you can see you're getting two different types of dots there. And these ones are definitely more bubbles. So if you're painting mermaid scenes or little fish, and then you add these bubbles on the outside, this adds um, just the right kind of atmosphere to it. Um, okay, so now let me show you how to do it on a face. Because this is like, it's one thing to do it on a paper and it's flat, but there's an actual little trick that we need to do to get these on really nicely. So, here's my trick. Um, well, first of all, let me show you my, my fast trick to washing my stencil off. Let's get a nice clean stencil to start with. So, this is just a paper towel and a baby wipe. 
and there we go just like that okay nice and clean so when you're doing this on a human face let me move this mess out of the way so it looks so scrubby okay when you're doing this on a human face um what you're gonna do is this is a giant empty area we don't need to use the stencil to fill this giant empty area, right? We already know that we're gonna be putting stuff on here. So instead of struggling and trying to hold this giant thing on, what we're gonna use this for more is to catch this edge, these clean edges, okay? And this, we can just free fill it in. So let me grab some color here. Um, I think pink should show up just fine on the camera. I'm gonna do a pink and purple because it's, the most commonly asked for one. So what you're gonna do is start just freehand. Okay, so you already know that the stencil is gonna cover this area. You can go down in the bottom here if you want or not, that's your choice. But you already know that this area here needs paint and it's gonna be covered by the stencil, so you just fill that in freehand. Then you're gonna take the stencil and place it. See, there's this little tick here. They all have a little, some type of little defining spot here so you can line this up so that it's lined up with their eye here okay so line it up like that and you can twist it and turn it okay sorry <laughs> you can twist it and turn it like this you know so it's lined up however you like um, the most important thing though is just make sure that you've got a nice space here and a nice line that you're gonna cut down there okay so you hold it really tight here and really tight here, okay? This part here, you see it's popping up, that's okay because we're just gonna push down and wiggle our sponge and we don't need to go back again and again and again. So we're just going to depend on it being like that. So I'm gonna start up here from the edges. And like I mentioned before, I like to use dark colors on the edges because then I don't even have to outline if I don't need to. Get into her cheek here. Make sure that that kind of came down enough. So you can see right there, we got a nice edge. When it's dark on the outside, you don't even have to um, outline it if you don't want to. But then again, this is an excellent opportunity for getting your paintbrush out because then you're just tracing and um, it's an excellent opportunity to practice your line work. So now, that same little trick I taught you guys about blowing one color off into another, just take your um, take your stencil here and we'll put the dots on, we'll line them up. Sorry. We'll line them up here. And we're gonna put pink dots on top of this purple area, right? Some kids, You'll have more space than others to work with the size of their face. So you might be able to bring some purple dots down onto the pink. But if you don't have the ability to do that, then that's okay. Um, same thing here on the bottom. You just line it up real quick and just find a line. Ugh, just find a line that you like. And uh, I like to go big to small, big to small. of this pink on that purple. I have had nothing but great reviews when I do this. Um, parents love it, the kids love it, it's really different. I'm gonna do that little trick I was teaching you with blowing out the stars. So I'm gonna take my purple, let me get a little more purple on my sponge here. I like to show you guys this particular stencil on a practice head because it's really important to see that first initial step, how you line it up with all of that action. And then blow out some stars along the bottom here. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the camera. There we go. There's a couple of stars. And that gives it a real graffiti look too when it's blowing outside. You can do the same thing. You can fill in stars along here. Or if you put dots in the wing, or, or if you put stars in the wing, then you could put dots blowing around outside of it. So, and then, like I said, good chance to practice your line work. So. Just 
I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and then you're just tracing your work really you can add extra little swoop de deals if you want and then plus if somebody's giving you a hard time about using a <laughs> stencils for the whole face paint job you whip out your paintbrush then you feel like a a ninja right and you're like oh yeah well how about this it's always weird painting on those heads anyways there we go um let me show you that other little trick with this we'll let that dry a minute let me get some black on my sponge here thanks julie price for loving my stencils i'm on facebook live here and i'm able to see some uh comments from people so this one I used as like more of a head kind of deal before now you can flip it around different ways and use it as um you know those little fancy tails that butterflies have so you know line it up along here you can line it up along there let's line it up along there that'll be pretty so I'm going to line it up along with this line here And I'm just going to grab, again, see how I'm always holding it tight in two places. Always holding it tight in two places. And you can see, like, it's lifting up. The stencil is lifting up here. But because I'm just pushing it down and wiggling it and lifting it up, my paint's not too wet, I'm still going to get a great transfer. You could stick that same little shape up on the other side here. It looks pretty along the edge. Very quick one-eyed butterflies. Um, you can get two, I've had people get two of these sets and I think I maybe have a deal on my website, two of these sets um, for a discount. They get two of these sets and then um, they can go left, right, left, right. They just label it left, right. Um, to close the little eye part, usually I just put some dots in here just to like close it or whatever. You can get that. Um, you can get that um, like glitter mark kind of uh, um, product with that's a squeezing glitter and outline your butterflies for an extra step and that looks really pretty. Boy, I just made a mess on here, didn't I? <laughs> with fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. That's how that's done. Um, how did the black not transfer when you flip the stencil says jazz um what i actually did was i um yeah because see look at this part here she's talking about i've got black on both sides because i did black here and then i flipped it and i did black over there um i actually i super quickly just went on my black towel and i pressed down and i swiped it <laughs> because um i usually have like a, a paper towel here's the version of it I usually have a paper towel and if your paint's still wet on your paper towel then you can literally just give it a swipe and um, the worst of the makeup is gone and you can continue working really quickly so I've always got like a, a stack I've always got a stack of paper towels and I don't even I'm here babe. see I've always got a little stack of paper towels while I'm working and uh, that's how I get through that um, Oh my God, all this time I didn't know how to use them. Yeah, see, this is, that's the thing. I didn't, I don't think a lot of people know how to use uh, the butterfly stencils um, because they're big, there's a big open space on them, right? So um, that's why I wanted to kind of show you guys what's up. Let me just do the other side for you so you can see some more, one more time for people who kind of maybe missed it. Let's do, um, Let's use these bubbles because they're pretty. So I'll do like a blue, a blue themed one here for you. If there's any more, is that an alien head says Margie? No, it's not an alien head. It's a, it's a practice head. Who has made this? I don't even know. Um, but I'm sure they sell it on like Silly Farm or just paint or or whoever you know all those piece paint supply stores will sell it so again we're going to start by just free handing it on so i'm going to i'll use this one this time um i know see how i know that this whole area is going to be covered so i'm not going to bother using the stencil for that i'm just going to freehand that part that's the way i do it with the living human children too 
These stencils also, can I just make a note, were made for kids' faces. So these butterfly shapes fit best on children. Um, on, on adults, you'll find that they'll be a little small, so you'll, they won't go all the way from this corner to this corner. Um, but it still works, you can make it work. You just, because a lot of times when I'm teaching, I'm ending up painting it on adults, you just shift it over, add more um, external decorations, you know, to the actual wing, than, than you have to the wing shape, and um, let's see. Let me grab some darker blue. I don't know if you're supposed to paint with blue on these mannequin heads. I'll wash it right away. <laughs> okay. So we'll line this guy up. Again, we're going to line this little point up with the, with the eyelash line. Try and keep this in the camera. And now I'm going to hold this really tight, right on the cheekbone and right up here, okay? The rest of this stuff, if it pops up, I don't even care about it, okay? I really, I am not going crazy worrying about that. Oh, these look great with rainbow cakes when you load it up with a rainbow on your sponge. I think there's a party going on downstairs, so I hope my music is loud enough to block that. <laughs> uh, so I got teal and dark blue on here, or as dark blue as I was willing to kind of go. Let's just make sure that this is, I don't know, I got a good line there. It's pretty, right? It's a nice little frilly edge. The other thing too that I really love about these stencils is when I was first learning how to face paint, um, I made my wings way too big, like just way too big. And so what happens was, um, how do I prop this up so you can see? Okay, what happens if your wings are way too big is it starts going way up into the hairline, like way up in here, and then you have too much trouble trying to even fit your outline in after. So, um, one day I was painting, I was actually painting with somebody and they had to leave and very good painter. And uh, I looked up to a lot and the painter said, here, take this pa painting over. I gotta go right now. I don't know, near the washroom or something. I can't remember, but I ended up finishing this face paint and I was like, I blew fingerprints everywhere. Sorry guys. I was finishing this face paint and I sat down in front of this started butterfly and the wings were so tiny. The sponged area was so tiny. And I was like, oh, that's why the butterflies always look so good. I've been painting my wings sponging on way too much. So I thought that this would be a perfect training tool because then once you get used to seeing how very small of a tiny space that you're actually sponging on, you can start doing it freehand. But I wanted to make these stencils still valuable. So when you're kind of finished using this, you'll still want to use these different fill shapes with your any kind of painting, really. This makes great snowballs. Right here, I've painted like a snowman and then done this in white and have his little stick hand reach back and grab one of these like it's a snowball. Like they're super fun and versatile to use, even if you don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore, but I still carry this around in my kit because this is perfect on the back of a dragon or the back of a dinosaur. It looks like scales, like I said, underwater bubbles. Just these in black or a dark brown on, on the eye, like just in this area right here, on a lady or a teenager, that's all they want and you can charge them 10 bucks for it because they waited in line and they knew that face painting's 10 bucks, you know? So having, and the nice thing is that it's not a mash, mat, like, the other thing with other stencils is that it's like a solid area. So there's no beginning and end. You can't just like pick up a tiny little section, you know, that's just congruous to itself. So that's another thing I like about these stencils is there's kind of like little sections that you can easily just pick up. Um, let's get back to our little, underwater one that I'm working on. I want to use the bubbles. I'm just going to go with straight white instead of like this side. I did pink and purple and I kind of a mixed style, which is really pretty. And I do that most of the time. One time I was painting with a friend of mine and she just stuck these bubbles on in white. She maybe did a little rainbow action, rainbow cake action or something like that for the wings. But these bubbles in just white look so good. Uh, I just can't with it. So again, they fit perfectly inside the wing. fit perfectly inside the wing and let's hold it tight in two places and make sure our white's not too much I think I got too much white on there let's tap some of that off that's better I always do a little safety patch first and that way 
I'll only like, if I'm gonna have too much paint on there and it runs under, that way it's only in one little spot. And the damage control is way easier. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Yes. Again, just uh, you know, rotate this around and grab some small ones for the bottom wing. Right? Same thing, grab some, you can grab some bubbles here and in this tealy blue color and put them coming up. So they're breaking off that edge. Put some over here. Just really quick, one, two, three, right? You really don't need much. Super simple. Let's put a little outline on there for you guys. Again, excellent opportunity to practice your line work. And now you're just tracing. You don't have to worry about, ah, oh, where do I put this? And where do I put that? And how do I make it? This is really fancy. If I was able to paint a fancy edge like that when I was first starting, um, I'd be super grateful. I don't know if my hand's covering the camera. And again, the edges are so nice. If you get a nice clean edge, if you have um, a dark color on the outside, or sorry, if you have light, if you have dark skin, then put a light color on the outside, and then you won't have to trace it. You can still trace it and outline it, um, but you really don't have to, and that's the main thing. Anyways, there we go. Next, I think my next uh, adventure for me is to figure out um, other things that I can do with these stencils that are not, you know, something else to do with this in particular. Because I think if you guys have been watching some of my videos, you've been seeing kind of like little tricky and genius ways that I've been using some of these shapes. So I'm kind of trying to think of like ways to maybe, because these are big, nice big edges and big corners. Like I know for sure I can do something with some of these different, just these edges too. So I'm going to play around with that. You guys can stay tuned and look forward to seeing something like that. But here we go. There's our butterflies. That's how you do it on the hu on a human is the trick is to just freehand fill in the part over the eyelid and then use the stencil for the edges. Um, these are all of our transfers and let's see how can I try and show all this stuff in one last shot for you guys probably can't <laughs> I probably can't fit it all in but there we go this is the butterflies kit um, it is $30 online um, Hit me up if you need to. I've got discount codes for those who need discounts. I love discounts. <laughs> and like I said, you'll get, if you order straight from me, you'll get a, an additional step-by-step -step card ideas. And the snowflake stencil, I still have a couple of these left to give away. So there we go, guys. Um, that's the, my butterfly kit. Let me flip my phone here just to um, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you guys liked my uh, butterfly kit. I hope you're curious to try it. Um, I know that if you live in places with stores that carry my stencils and they have a showroom, I provide stencils in the showroom for people to try. So if you have an opportunity to go into a store, um, call them up and make sure that they have that um, available because I like to give those away to my stores. And Otherwise, I don't know, stick around. I got lots of stuff coming up. I'm gonna do a few less videos because I am preparing a lot for my um, classes in St. Louis. I got a convention happening there and I'm creating a brand new book that's going to have all kinds of focus on Happy Hippie. Um, Margie Cantor and I worked hard to make a whole bunch of cool new designs. So we are putting together a really cool, fun little book and um, we're gonna have that available too at the St. Louis convention. Um, what else is new? 
I don't know, it's fall. So get outside and get those last rays of sun on your skin while you can. We'll take care of you guys. Um, share your designs with me. Transfer some papers, transfer some of your stencils on paper and just show me what you come up with. I don't care if it looks silly, it's good practice. It's really good practice. And um, I'd love to see what you're coming up with. So, cheers.